All right, hi Cancer, this is gonna be your reading. This is for Cancer placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Hold on. So this is for Cancer placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates these, but doesn't. Let's see, Cancers. Okay, we got hot mess. Disorderly habits, untidy mind, chaotic, messy situation, feeling miserable and unhappy, being irresponsible. So, Cancers, I don't know if this is you. I don't think it's you. This could be someone in your energy. Somebody here could be a hot mess. This could be someone who you're romantically dating. Maybe this is like their mother or their child's mother, an ex-spouse of theirs. Let's see what's going on with cancer placements. We got love. Okay. Romantic feelings, mutual attraction. Someone has feelings for you. Focusing on love. Okay, cancer. So some of you guys are dating. Okay. Or there's someone who wants to date you or, you know, this could be you. Right? So something definitely in regards to love. What else with cancer placements? We got karmic justice. You could be dealing with the Libra or have Libra placements. Okay, you could be a Libra with cancer placements as well. Karmic justice, wrongs made right, you will be vindicated, getting what you deserve, learning karmic lessons. So some of you guys could be learning lessons in love. Okay, you could be getting karmic justice in love for all that you've gone through with a particular person or love in general here. Okay, you've learned your lessons, you've applied them, hopefully. <laughs> all right. So you can be vindicated. I feel like none of us get vindicated until we learn our lessons. Everybody always wants, I want justice, I want justice. But yet they keep making the same mistakes over and over. Or they just simply don't learn from what they've been through. So it's like you start to recreate karma yourself, right? What else? Our choices are karma, right? The consequences cause and effect, right? Every choice has, you know, consequence to it. And we have chaos, okay. It's given like the tower. So this could be, could be done with an Aries or a Scorpio. We have chaos, difficult experiences, heavy burdens, test your strength, unpredict unpredictable events, opposing forces. So there could be some things out of your control right now in whatever area of life. This could be school, this could be work, it could be love, family, whatever, right? And we have rebuilding. Um, some of you guys could be learning a lot. Some of you guys could be in school. You could be studying something. You could be self-taught, whatever. Or you're just learning from life, learning through relationships, learning through, you know, things. <laughs> rebuilding, rebuilding your life after loss, investing a lot of effort, ready to take action to improve, determination, and drive. So some of you guys could be rebranding. If you have a business, you could be rebuilding yourself. Okay, that's the best way to get justice as well is to rebrand yourself, not to seek out and expect pe other people to basically reprimand or, you know, vindicate what somebody else did to you. The best way to get karmic justice is to level up, is to rebuild yourself. That's the start of it, right? What's love? So some of you guys could be in a long distance connection. You can have Leo placements here, heavy Leo energy here. You guys could do something online. You could have met somebody on a dating app or you could be dealing with somebody that's overseas, someone foreign. Or again, they could just be someone that you meet online or somebody that, you know, while you're traveling. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. For some of you guys, if you're already with this person, you guys could have been together for a while. Okay, you could be you guys could be renewing vows, uh going through a whole brand new cycle. For others of you, maybe you're closing out a cycle with somebody that you were with for a while here and you're going into a whole new beginning. Okay, some of you guys do have new love coming in. You're closing out one cycle, going into another, whether it's with someone new or someone that you've been with already. What's love? Okay, Queen of Swords here. Libra Virgo energy. Could be an Aquarius or Gemini as well. Air and follow another air sign. Well, yeah. Could be any air sign. You want water? Mm -hmm. 
Hold on, cancers. My baby needs some water. The word card is Saturn energy too. So some of you guys could be dealing with a um, Capricorn as well. Or you can, or that person could have it in your chart or you do. <coughs> All right, what's love? Yeah, look, the devil card came out. What's love here? Gemini energy is here as well. Somebody could feel like you're out of their league or this is how somebody else feels about you. This is, okay, Will of Fortune, Sagittarius. So there's some, so Cancers, something is definitely out of your control. You're gonna have to remain optimistic Something could be coming back around with somebody from your past. For some of you, not all of you. Okay, and for others of you, you could be a, a, a lesson that you didn't learn from a previous person could be coming back around in disguise of a new person because there's something that you need to learn here, something that you need to leave behind permanently, okay? Um, the Wheel of Fortune, Sag, energy here. This is change here, a, a new pattern, a new cycle, things shifting your love life could be shifting somebody's feelings for you could be shifting okay what's the world here with the sun together somebody could even want to post you online or for some of you Ooh. okay justice here libra energy okay major arcana out the major arcana uh, yeah the world, the sun, justice, the empress, Taurus, Libra, heavy Libra here. So you could definitely have Libra in your chart, your moon rising or Venus, or you're dealing or you're dealing with the Libra or somebody that has Libra in theirs. Or something could be happening during Libra season. Libra season starts tomorrow. So yeah. There's a new cycle in love for you that could be starting during Libra season. So I will work with Libra season. I will work with that energy. Do some you know, light some pink candles, do some self-love, like really harness that Libra energy. Find out where you have Libra in your birth chart. If you don't, just harness, just work with that, work with the astrological uh, season. Okay, Libra rules harmony, relationships, connections, contracts, business, love, marriage, all of it. Work with that. Some of you guys are getting a divorce or somebody here could be getting married for some of you guys. Okay. If you're having legalities, I feel like they're going to be going your way. Again, you're getting heavy karmic here. Heavy karmic. Like, I feel like something is going your way in regards to love. And it's because you guys have cut something out or someone out. Or you now use your discernment. You're now very aware. Some of you guys are done learning lessons in love. And because you've mastered certain things, you know, things are shifting for the better. You don't have to keep... You know, you're going to always be learning and evolving and growing with your partner. But... There, you don't have to go through those karmic lessons that are hard, that leave you feeling broken, sad, disappointed, and crying and depressed. You know what I'm saying? I, so, yeah, especially for those of you, something could have taken a hit to your self-esteem, your self-worth. Be careful with getting, be careful with lowering, lowering your standards and getting frustrated just to have somebody. Don't do that, because then you're going to end up bringing karma to yourself. And that could be some of you guys are learning, a, or you have learned a lesson and cause and effect with that. What happens when you lower your standards, rush into things, or be, you know, super eager in regards to love here. Queen of Swords, use your discernment. You can have Virgo or Libra in your chart, or you could be a Virgo or Libra with cancer placements. Queen of Okay, the hangman, Pisces energy. Yeah, something, you're clearing something out. Maybe how you see love, how you see a person or somebody's clearing or something is, somebody is seeing you differently. With the queen of swords here and the hangman, somebody is seeing something or someone very clearly, very accurately. And I do queen of wands here, Aries, Pisces, also her Scorpio. There could be somebody in the background trying to like infiltrate that or... Because mm -hmm. the Queen of Wands reverse is spell work, and the Queen and the Empress in reverse, and we saw the hot mess. That could be somebody's ex, an ex spouse, man or woman. Okay, the mother or father of their child, their mother, a mother or whoever. Somebody, somebody feels rejected. Yeah, 
there could be a called off celebration, a canceled engagement, and somebody's angry, they're furious, they're they're upset for somebody. Oh, this is what this is happened in the past. You could be dealing with the Taurus as well, the hangman. Yeah, the two child of death card, Scorpio energy. Something is over, it's null and void, it's changed. Or somebody did, somebody's undergoing some type of transformation in here. Somebody or something got cut out, or you're going to have to cut something or someone out. You're going to have to change, shift your perspective. The death card talks about endings. Something has to die. Something You have to surrender something. That, with the hangman, you have to let something go. Surrender, end it. Okay, judgment. Some of you guys, you're going through a, a death and rebirth with the, with a Somebody that you've already been with for a while or somebody that you already know. For others of you, you're going through a death and rebirth within yourself. So you can attract the love where it's going to be uh, reciprocal and mutually beneficial, right? Yeah. Somebody could want your forgiveness. Some of you guys need to forgive your past, forgive yourself for putting up with things, okay? Keeping yourself stuck. I see you. Hi, <laughs> look at you shaking your hips. <laughs> I see you. I see you. <laughs> uh, what's the death here? Yeah, oh my God, cancers, fuck me. Uranus energy. Oh my, I'm, I love this for y'all. Yes. Y'all are somebody here. Somebody could, is, oh my God, somebody could be going through a breakup. Somebody is, whether it's a breakup, a divorce, again, somebody is, there's some type of graduation, some type of completion. You've with the world here, you've completed a cycle, you've completed something. You could have this could have been a 10 year cycle of just heartache, pain, the same bullshit, or whether it's with the same person or whatever. Whatever it is, the death brings new beginnings. You are oh my god, you're free, Cancer. Somebody here is breaking free from something. They see somebody for if, if so say you were dealing for those of you who is who are loosely dating someone, right? Or getting to know somebody or whatever. Say they have somebody in the background, like they were they had a child with someone or they were engaged or married or it's somebody in their family. They're cutting that out and breaking free from that person, from whatever. And just somebody here is like going through a real transformation the hangman is going it talks about going through a metamorphosis somebody is you know something is your love life could be put on pause because there may be some things you guys still need to end and break free from maybe your thought process your thought pattern some of you guys get really anxious when it comes when it comes into dating okay you may not you may not know your own worth and value you could be placing your worth and value and in regards to how people treat you like if you can get somebody to do this for you then that makes you feel good about yourself but the minute you can't you feel depressed you want to sit in bed for days like that's not good right uh the will of um the four of wands venus and aries this is somebody moving out of a home uh some, some of you guys need to get your own place in order you may need to switch homes switch some things up in your home get some roses you know get more you know get more work with that that venusian energy Find your Venus sign and work with that. You know, Venus is ruled by Taurus and Libra. Work with, and we are going into Libra season. Work with whether you're whether you have Libra placements or not. Work with that energy. Use the astrological seasons to your advantage. And if you're looking for love, Libra season. There you go. Use Libra season to get your roster and use Scorpio season to solidify, okay? And then, you know, by Aquarius season, you can pop out with your person, okay? That's for some of y'all. But somebody here could be getting divorced, a separation, moving out. Somebody could feel like they're stuck in a family dynamic where they're unhappy, they're miserable. Somebody could be doing spell work on somebody here. The high priestess, this could be a big secret that could be coming out. Yeah, about somebody doing spell work on somebody, trying to act like they're innocent the will of fortune or manipulating somebody yeah oh my god seven of swords here moon and aquarius so some of you guys need to be a bit more strategic in how you approach love don't be so i don't want to say be obvious but be a little bit more discreet again the the swords are all about the mind right Hmm, what's the seven of swords here? What is this giving me? Some of you guys, you'll benefit with love by being discreet about what you want. By being just, I don't want to say be discreet, but be a bit more strategic. 
You guys are gonna have to use a bit. You need more charm, okay? Seven of Swords here, or somebody's trying to strategically find a way to change your perception of them or change how you view them, especially if they did something to hurt you or to betray you or whatever. Moon here, or if you, cross watcher. If you're watching for a Cancer, maybe Cancer, you know, then this uh, this is you, okay? So just flip and switch it. Maybe Cancer is trying to find a way to strategically come back in your life. Just you know, just place where you fit. The moon here. Pisces, Cancer. Yeah, somebody's doing, somebody's trying to seek. Somebody can have feelings for you that they're not, that they're keeping to themselves. Or this is you. You could have met this person at work, school. They may, you may feel like there's a lot of competition for this person. Maybe this person gets a lot of attention. People are always pining over them. Okay, this could be at work, school, or you, you could have, or you maybe you know this person already, right? You could be dealing with a fellow water sign or a Libra. Somebody could be fighting their feelings, too, for someone. Yeah, somebody's... And if they don't express this, if they keep trying to act like they're cool, calm, and collected, it's going to be a missed opportunity. Yeah, somebody's going to have to get out of their ego and open up, or else nothing is going to come about, and they're going to be upset. <laughs> the moon. Yeah, king of wands. Somebody needs to take action. Uh, Cancer or Leo here could be an Aries or an Aquarius. I mean, Aries or Sag could be Aquarius. There, Aquarius is here, very heavy. Aquarius, Libra is here, very heavy, and Leo. What happened, baby? Did it? Yeah, Eight of Cups. Some of you guys, there's someone that wants to return or there's someone that you're currently dealing with that they don't, they're not going nowhere. <laughs> or even if y'all did go on a break, they're still stuck on you. Also, for some of you guys, you are breaking free. For those of you who've been married or with somebody for a long time, you guys could be newly single or this is your person. But anyways, King of Wands, this person could be trying to figure out how to strategically come towards you or take action. They could be a bit prideful though. And they could be a little, I don't want to say deceptive, but they could not be... Somebody's trying to somebody's trying to change their approach. Maybe change maybe they're trying to change how they approach you. They're trying to be more slick or they're trying to, you know, I don't know. King of Wands is usually someone that's courageous. They take action. They're a leader. They're confident. At worst, they can be arrogant, a bit of a player a tyrant but i'm not really getting that this person could have some insecurities although they they come off really confident this person could be foreign biracial again they could be foreign okay for some of you or this is you king of wands like they could be you know caribbean latin or something like that west african or you know biracial like i said yeah, eight of swords here. This person's gonna get out their head eventually. Somebody's trying to be somebody's trying to be methodical here. You could be dealing with the Virgo or a Leo, or they have that in their chart. Or oh, this is you. You can have Virgo or Leo in yours. Somebody's trying to be really methodical on how to approach something. Jupe, eight of swords here, Jupiter and Gemini. Somebody needs to get out of their head or they're going to. This person is they're taking action. They're getting out of this victim mentality. They're not gonna let their affairs get in the way. Maybe at one point they did, but they're 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 coming with a slow and steady approach they're not going to come in and give you the whole shebang don't expect that expect this person to it's gonna they're gonna do they're, they're gonna they're they're switching up on how they do things with you I put it i'm gonna put it that way this person's gonna be and you know it's i like this energy because the knight of pentacles they they finish what they start they're slow and steady you know slow and steady wins the race they're loyal they're dedicated and they don't let up. So this person is going to just, they're going to be methodical. They're going to be consistent, most importantly. And once they, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night. But once they get to their destination, they don't waver. 
You know, this person could be going through a breakup. Maybe you and this person are, are, are going through something. Again, for those of you who you've been with this person for a while and you guys aren't breaking up, you aren't divorcing, they could be trying to find ways to kind of, re, you know, to kind of turn things around if you guys have gone through something, right? Um, and for others of you, you, you know, if you're divorced, maybe you guys are taking your time dating and going into love because you just got out of a divorce, you just got out of a breakup, or this is your person, right? Two of Cups, Venus, and Cancer. Okay, again, some of you guys are dealing with somebody long distance. Okay, this person could be watching, waiting. This person, somebody here has not given up, whether they haven't given up on you or they haven't given up on love, period, or this is you. Okay, Six of Pentacles, you had equal give and take. Moon and Cancer, Moon and Sag. Three of Wands is Aries. Somebody could travel for work. What's justice here? Yeah, the High Priestess in reverse. Hmm. Pisces, Cancer. Heavy Pisces and Cancer here as well. The Magician, Virgo, Gemini. So somebody's finances, they could be trying to get that in order. Somebody could also be like waking up from some type of illusion. They're learning and studying something or studying you. They're healing and getting over something. And someone in their energy is not happy about it. Yes, this could be somebody, the King of Queen of Swords, somebody that's breaking up with someone or getting a divorce. They could be really discreet on how they get out of this situation because maybe that person that they're dealing with, their ex, their mother, or whoever, ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, who, you know, whatever, could have been a hot mess. We saw a hot mess earlier. So somebody may have to be discreet and may have to move in silence here. The high priestess in reverse is somebody here that this could be a secret that's coming out in court, maybe about a child. Okay, or somebody... This could be somebody that's suppressing their intuition. Something is coming out regardless. Somebody could be having emotional outbursts. Somebody could be seeing somebody for who they are and it's helping them break free. They're no longer scared. High priestess in reverse. Or they're seeing something about themselves, their insecurities, things that are embedded in their subconscious. High priestess in reverse. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. I'm gonna, let me ask that again. What's this high pieces? I feel like some of you guys know. Okay, the Hermit in reverse, Virgo. Some of y'all gonna know that this person likes you mutually. That they're gonna make you're gonna know because they're gonna be like I said. They're not. They may you may not hear from them every day, but they're either gonna or some of you guys are gonna find a way to contact you. They're gonna like do. They're gonna find. They're gonna just be very methodical. You gotta have to pay attention. I don't. And I'm not telling you to look into everybody who t hits you up every day. This oh, is this the one? Do they? No, 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 no. Don't do that. How can I describe it? Because that's kind of is looking. I don't mean to confuse nobody, but hopefully I get what I'm trying to say. Pay attention to people's actions. You'll know who it is. Use your discernment. Don't be thirsty. Cause then, anyways. Um. Hermit in reverse could be someone's intuition could be blocked because maybe they're not really going within. Somebody here could be pet, uh, yeah, somebody's scared. Could be a Sag. You could have a Mars and Gemini here with this Nine of Swords here. Aries is here. Yeah, this person, they have to get out of their head. They have some insecurities that they may have to make some changes within themselves first. And that could be what's scaring them. For some of you guys, you're changing this person. You've changed this person. You've changed them. And they're scared of that. They're petrified. Somebody can't keep this in anymore. So if you haven't heard from this person, you will. What's karmic justice? The hermit in reverse could be somebody coming out of hermit mode. So, you know, give this person space. If you got them blocked because you fell away because they didn't respond to you right away, unblock them. I'm not talking about that toxic ex that keeps cheating on, cheating on you or, the, or that person who's constantly ghosting you and going or hurting you and leaving you confused. I'm not talking about that person. I'm not talking about that person. Again, use your discernment. Don't be thirsty. Don't be super eager. Use your discernment. Karmic justice. Yeah, nine of wands, moon and Sagittarius. Some of you guys are getting karmic justice in something because, yeah, the six of pentacles is something being balanced out. This is a form of karmic justice. You're getting what you deserve, getting what's owed to you. An equal give and take, reciprocity. That's the six of pentacles upright from this past disappointment to love. And, and a lot of you guys, whether you're a man or a woman, you poured into yourself, you nurtured yourself. Okay, with the queen of pentacles. You've poured into yourself or you need to. Take care of your home. Take care of your space cancers. Okay? 
cleanliness is next to godliness. So make sure you're taking care of your space. Make, it, make sure your, your space is inviting for love. Okay, make sure that's what make sure that's what this that's make sure your space is make sure you're curating that within your space, whether it's your home, your body, and your heart, your spirit, and your mind. Curate that, okay? Nine of Wands is not giving up. This is a we yeah, some of you guys have been wounded, but you haven't given up in something. Karma justice. Yeah, three of swords in reverse. You're healing. Saturn and Libra. Or it's time to release that repressed trauma here so you can get your karmic justice. Holding on to a, holding on to grief isn't gonna hurt isn't gonna hurt the people that hurt you. Being resentful, being bitter, isn't gonna hurt nobody that hurt you. You're only gonna hurt yourself. If you block your heart, you're blocking love, you're blocking your abundance, you're blocking anything you want, not even just love, anything. The five of pentacles in reverse, Mercury and Taurus. Yeah, this is coming coming out of the cold, getting over abandonment issues, getting over codependency for some of you. Okay, codependent no more. <laughs> My best friend, who's known as Godmother, she's a Cancer. She's a Cancer sun and moon, Virgo rising, Cancer Venus too, I believe. She told me about that book, Codependent No More. So some of you guys may want to look into that. What's karmic justice? Yeah, Knight of Cups. Some of y'all, Pisces, Aquarius. Some of you guys are getting karmic justice and dealing with lovers who have been very insincere, okay? You know, people. A tr you could have dealt with a past troublemaker. Uh, you could be also, this could be someone here that's wishy-washy, moody. This could be you guys that's a little moody and wishy-washy, okay? It, be, it could be because you guys still, you guys are ruled by the moon here with this moon card and the high priestess. So you could be feeling really emotional at this time. And for some of you guys, you have somebody here that's, they believe that you have someone here that's really into you, but this person is not really, they could be a little scared. But Nine of Wands, I said that already, right? Nine of Wands, the Cancer's in love on the karmic justice here. Whenever there's ads that come on when she's watching something, you know, she watched me enough times, so she tries to, like, do it herself. It's so cute. Nine of Wands. I try to get her to sit through the ads, the ones that are, like, 30 seconds and lower, so she can, like, you know, I mean, she's 19 months. But it's so she can kind of... Um, get you know patience i want you know trying to teach her like patience and and you know the reward of waiting but as that are like a minute and plus long i don't expect a 19 month old to be able to sit through that <laughs> so nine of wands yeah five of wands in reverse someone doesn't somebody doesn't want to fight here some of you guys you're you're not gonna have to fight for love or fight for anything you want you're not gonna have to Five of Wands in reverse is Saturn and Leo. The person for you is not going to make you feel like you have to compete for them or you're not going to. Yeah, some of you guys, there is no competition. Like I was telling Virgo in one of their readings, there's no, in their last reading, not not this one, but the one before this one, there's no competition in your lane. Some, if you got Virgo in your chart, go watch that reading. Ain't no fucking competition in your lane. Not when it comes to love, business, nothing. Five of Wands in reverse. This could be some of you guys. You may want love, but you couldn't. With the Five of Wands here in reverse and the Nine of Wands here, you may project a lot of your wounds onto suitors or something like that for some of you. This is your person. Somebody could be battling something within themselves. You guys can have PTSD from partnerships and you may not even realize it or something that happened to you really young or as a child. Okay, five of wands in reverse. Or this is your person. Three of pentacles. You guys may, Mars and Capricorn. You may want to go seek some type of counsel for that. Okay. All right, so if you feel like that's something that's really blocking you and, and becoming a hindrance, don't be afraid to speak to someone professionally about that. I'm also getting there's somebody here that wants to cooperate with you now, work with you. If you got kids with this person, they were giving you a hard time. They want to work with you now. For some of you, Three of Pentacles is like my co-parenting card. Also, the Three of Pentacles is like learning. It's like the teacher and student. Again, some of you guys have learned your lessons. 
love is not love or whatever it is is not going to have to be so complicated anymore. Something you could have learned a karmic lesson. Okay, three of pentacles. Ten of swords in reverse. The worst part of something, Gemini energy, the worst part of a situation or your love life or whatever, part of your life is over. You've learned your lesson, literally. And as long as you apply those lessons and you make decisions based on what you've learned and apply, like I said, apply it, you'll be fine. You can avoid the people who are insincere, wishy-washy, hot and cold. One minute you guys are on, the next minute you guys are off. Some of you guys need to be a bit more vulnerable. Don't be afraid of vulnerability with the the strength card Leo energy, okay? And don't try to force nothing. Don't, you know, let, the, let things flow. Be adaptable. Let things flow, okay? Know what you want. Have your boundaries. Have your standards. And... And when something when you're flo when something is flowing into a way that doesn't like you, but that that doesn't like you, that doesn't you don't like where it's going, speak up. And can, and you know, I don't, I guess I don't want to say give yourself a timeline because I feel like our timing and divine timing is two different things. But some people say some people like to say, hey, if me and this person don't make an official within six months, I'm done with them. And that's OK. Or three months or two months. You know, that's fine. But, um, you know, maybe something like that. You know how you know, know who's worth investing in, who's worth waiting for. Right. Three of swords in reverse. Yeah. Two of pentacles. You guys could have been juggled in the past a lot. Jupiter and Capricorn. Yeah. Some you yeah, this could be something needs to be balanced with the 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 justice here, the karmic justice here, and the two of pentacles and an infinity symbol. There's something that you guys could be something that is, is being done constantly. Like maybe constant experience the same experiences, the same things. And it could be because you guys get impatient. And this could be something that stems from your childhood. Maybe you guys came from a broken home. You could have abandonment wounds. I know it sounds cliche, but those things really do impact our dating life and how we approach it and handle it and navigate. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Some of you guys need to make your mind up. Do you want love now or do you not? Or Seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so Venus and Scorpio. So, Venus and some of you guys have options. Somebody needs to make up their mind. The Seven of Cups in reverse could be someone who's made up their mind or somebody here is going to, like I said, they're going to end up missing an opportunity if they don't, if they don't take action or if they let fear or whatever get in the way here. Seven of Cups in reverse. Somebody knows they have to make up, make their mind up about something or the, or the universe is going to make it for this person. Seven of Cups in reverse. Here, page of cups. Somebody here could be shy. Someone could you may have a child with this person, they could want to apologize to you. Yeah, somebody's going through some type of awakening. If this person was asleep or under an illusion, they're woke now. They could be moving away from something. Okay. Yeah, they could be waking up to something it's, and it's helping them transition. Somebody's going through some type of transitional period. All right. Yeah, that's for some of you. Page of Cups could be someone that's shy. This could be someone that has a crush. This person could jade you about you a lot. They kind of go back and forth with themselves too. They could be even consulting with family, friends about this. They overthink a lot. Okay. I'm not, what's this? Yeah. The Page of Cups could be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It could be like trying to like figure out like how to say or do something. Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the strength card. Somebody could be holding back their feelings. They're not following their heart. They can they can show love in immature ways. Or yeah, this person may not be the most emotionally confident or expressive. They could be in your ego too. So they somebody here needs to open up. Somebody here could be holding back. So this could be a pride thing, a, con a control tactic, but whatever it is, they may have to watch you move on if they don't get it together. Or this is you, strength. Somebody got to let go of that fear of being reject rejected. So I feel like out of all these options, somebody has gone back and forth. 
And if they get out of their head and get into their heart space, a decision will be much easier to make. What's the strength here? Yeah, the Emperor in reverse, Aries. They don't have to be an Aries, but this person could be like trying to control things, or that could be you. What's the strength here? Yeah, two of swords. Moon and Libra. Yeah, somebody's at a stillment. They can't make up their mind. Somebody's heart is blocked off. And it could be because they, or this could be yours. This is, maybe somebody was in a domestic situation with someone who was like bullying them, abusing them physically, promiscuous, cheating. Somebody could, could have been married or had a child or kids with a dark witch. Or this could be like a mother figure or something. Maybe they don't really have, maybe it could be an ex of theirs. Somebody could have grown up in a very abusive home or a single family home, or maybe somebody didn't have a good stable or family environment, whether it's the home they came from or the home that they built with somebody. Okay, that's for somebody here. Two of swords. So they could be a little bit closed off. But you may, you're this person's karmic justice. They're going to, but you know. So they got to appreciate you or see it before. If they don't see it, if they, if they wait too late, then they're going to be sad. They got nobody to blame but themselves. Two of Swords here. Somebody needs to go within. King of Swords, Clarity, yes. Aquarius, Capricorn. Somebody could be a January Aquarius, January Capricorn for some of you. Yeah. September, Libra or Virgo. Yeah, I feel like somebody's gone within and they see something very clearly now. They could have been holding back. They could have been moody and wishy-washy, but they see, somebody sees something very clear now. So you're going to, you know, be patient or give this person some time. Again, I'm not saying to wait on nobody. Live your life. And if, you are, if you're still available by the time they, you know, get to it, then great. If not, then oh well. <laughs> you know, time waits for no one, right? King of Swords here. Yeah, the lovers. So somebody could be breaking up with someone. Gemini energy. Somebody's made their choice. I feel like this should be upright, to be honest, but somebody's made their choice. Maybe this person made a maybe they could they could be divorcing or breaking up with someone that they could have made a bad choice. And okay, or this is you, mm -mm, baby. Yeah, somebody could be somewhere where it's not, they're not happy, they're miserable. They could be using work as a way to escape. So they don't have to see that person a lot. What's the lovers here? But somebody's waking up to something. This could be a breakup, a betrayal, or a separation. These people could still live together, maybe, but they're not really being intimate with each other. They could just be there because responsibilities for some of you, or this is you. Maybe if you're in a situation, if you were married or with somebody, maybe that's where things got to, or that's where they are. The lovers. Yeah, Page of Wands. Yep. Yeah. Some Something is... Somebody is, yeah, so this person's efforts may seem small, but it's only because they're slowly, this person loves you or they're in love with you, and yeah, this person is committed to you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be a Libra, October Libra, October Scorpio, King of Pentacles could be a Taurus or an Aries, April Taurus or Aries here, could be a Virgo or a Capricorn, like I said, but they're going to be committed. This person could be married already or committed already, so be careful with that as well. So just be, you know, make sure you get all the deets because this person could be a bit of, you know, or yeah, somebody, you know, just make sure yeah. if they said they're separated or they broken up yeah. from their ex, make sure that they're really moved. Well, you can't really, you can never know if somebody's fully moved on, but take your time, cancers. <laughs> okay. Use your discernment. You've been through enough. Use your discernment. Okay. Chaos, difficulty, difficult experiences, heavy burdens. <laughs> heavy burdens test your strength. Unpredictable events, opposing forces. This person wants to get your attention. 
somebody is serious, but make sure they just take your time because take your time. Don't just go and give in your body. I mean, you can do what you want, but what's the chaos? Somebody could be married here. Yeah, the high hair font. What's the chaos? Yeah, King of Pentacles. Or they, could, or they live with somebody. They have some type of commitment to somebody. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, energy here. There's a King and Queen of Swords here. There's a couple here. Then there's two Kings here. So, I don't know if somebody was dealing, somebody was getting cheated on or chaos, man or woman. What's chaos? Some of you guys are needing to stay grounded. Yeah, six of swords. Somebody's going through some type of transition. They could be building themselves financially. They can have some type of status here. Six of swords, Mercury in um, Aquarius. Yeah, somebody's healing. Yeah, somebody could be newly single. So they may not be able to give you much right now because they need to kind of pour into themselves, okay? Chaos, or oh, this is you. <laughs> yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's still working through something within themselves. So again, I'm not saying wait on this person, but focus on yourself too. Virgo energy with the Eight of Pentacles. You could be meeting this person at work, school, Okay, they could um they may like what you do for work. You know, this person, if you're in school, they may want to they may say, Oh, let's study together every Friday on Fridays at this time, and that's their way of like building something with you. Or maybe you can do something like that. I don't, you know, be a little, you know. Um, King of Pentacles. Yeah, Knight of Swords here. So something Gemini, Taurus, energy, heavy Taurus here. This person could have Taurus in your chart. Some of you guys have history with this person already. For some of you, you may have a child with them. This could be even, or for some of you guys, this is a past life connection where you're just now reincarnating to meet this person now. You guys met in the past life, but you're finally meeting in this lifetime, okay? For others of you, it could be somebody that's, for some of y'all, I don't know. It's not Maybe not for everybody, but... Could be somebody that you already have history with. Knight of Swords here, Gemini, Taurus energy. This person, yeah, expect the message here. This person is going to be very grounded in their approach. Something about them is going to be more mature, more stable. This person could be really witty. They can have earth and air in their chart or be air and earth. Some of you guys, they have fire. They could be fire and earth. Heavy air here. And yeah, heavy air mostly. And if they don't have air in their chart, they just come off this way. They're embodying that energy. They could be a water sign, a, a earth sign, a fire sign. They could be embodying more air or earth-like energy, okay? But this is like, the Knight of Swords is like a fast and unpredictable, like fast changes, new opportunities. Somebody could be getting a new opportunity for work that could kind of send them away or at a, put them at a distance between you guys, okay? So that could be something too that you guys have to work through. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, Venus in Virgo. The Five of Cups in Reverse, Mars in... Um, I heard Mars in Cancer, but this is Mars in Scorpio. Somebody is free. Somebody is... They're no longer... If they were married, they're... Some, again, somebody is focusing on their independence. Or for some of you guys, through the midst of chaos, whether it's in your love life, school, work, family, focus on your... become Focus on your self-sufficiency. You're going to have to. You're going to need it. Because things are always going to ebb and flow. No matter, even if you get what you want, things are going to ebb and flow. You're going to have to be solid within yourself. You're going to have to be emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and financially self-sufficient and capable and good on your own. Regardless if you're happily married or not, or happily taken or committed or not. You're going to have to be solid within yourself. You're going, you're going to experience disappointments. That's inevitable. You know, you know what you want to tolerate, you know what you will not, but you're going to have to be solid here. Somebody could be newly single, okay, healing from something, focusing on their finances, their stability, right? Um, nine of Pentacles and Nine of Wands, okay, Five of Cups, Five of Wands. I see, hold on. Okay. Um, six of swords here. Ooh. 
Yeah, nine of cups. Yeah, somebody's, you know, somebody's moving nine of cups, Jupiter and Pisces. Yeah, I feel like somebody could be leaving the nine of cups in reverse. It's like someone that's unhappy. They're not fulfilled. So this person could be a bit distant with you at times. Again, there could be things in their life that they don't really like, that they're not pleased or happy with within themselves. It's not a personal thing. Don't take don't take this person's actions to, or anybody's actions super personal. A lot of people aren't happy with themselves. And in order for a person to even appreciate any love that you have to give, they have to be content within themselves, just like you have to be content within yourself to appreciate the love somebody has to give you, right? And sometimes people need their space. And that's why being self-sufficient emotionally and mentally is very imperative because your partner is not here to do everything for you emotionally. You have to have a you know a business of your own, mind of your own, your own hobbies. You know, somebody could be battling, somebody could be drinking a lot. Nine of Cups is like in reverse. It's like somebody that's just not happy. Somebody is going through some type of transition. So just. They're mastering something within themselves. Sagittarius got 999. Taurus. Capricorn. So, yeah. Go watch Taurus, Capricorn, and Sagittarius. Nine of Cups in Reverse. Somebody could be moving on for a wish from a wish that wasn't granted, something that they thought was going to make them happy and it didn't, and they're moving away from that. Uh, that's happened to us. So this person is going to, again, slow and steady wins the race. Virgo, uh, Leo, somebody could be an August Leo or August Virgo. Yeah, slow and steady. This person is still building themselves. They may not feel like they, they could be really money focused whether they're earth sign or not, okay? Nine of pentacles, five of swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody could be feeling defeated from something, from something that they've gone through, maybe with their money. They, yeah, someone is healing. They could be having rejection wounds, or this is you. Aquarius, energy, the star. Yeah, somebody's restoring something in their lives here after some type of chaos, after a tower, okay? Five of swords, moon, I mean, Venus and Aquarius. So five of swords, five of wands, five of cups. You could be seeing five by five. Somebody's going through some type of change and transition. The death card, the will of fortune, the knight of swords, all of those are about changes. The hangman, that's all about metamorphosis, surrendering and letting go of things. So that's not easy for anybody to go through. Whether it's financial, career, love, family, it doesn't matter. So, you know, allow people to work through their stuff. You should be working through your stuff. You should have enough hobbies, enough things on your plate. So you're not too hyper-focused on this. Okay. Um, go check out Libra if you have that in your chart. Who else got? Um, Libra didn't get 555, but their first reading did. Capricorn got 555, and Capricorn is your sister sign, so always look at your sister sign readings. But yeah, Capricorn got 555. Okay. Five of Swords, yeah, this is against, don't don't sabotage this. The Five of Swords in reverse could be about self-sabotage. Wanting to win at all costs, you know, someone, somebody here could be wanting to make amends with you. They could be trying to, again, come in methodically and, you know, slow and steady. So, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, the Emperor in reverse. Aries. So, this person could have some control issues that they need to work through still, or this is you. They can have father wounds, or maybe you do. The Emperor in reverse. Yeah. Somebody could have, yeah. Yeah, the tower, Aries, heavy Aries energy, Aries, Scorpio here. Yeah, this person could be going through a tower. This could be an ego death. This person is is working, is needing to master, is doing some type of self-mastery, or they're working through themselves with something. Again, it's it's about some type, yeah, the chaos and the tower. It's, this person is going through some type of upheaval. And maybe they don't really feel that, they don't really feel that strong, that confident. They don't really feel that self-assured with themselves. The tower. And it could be with their finances or just their confidence, their stability within themselves. The tower. So they could be a bit, of, yeah, they're walking away from something. The two of swords here. They're planning for their future, focusing on their future. 
Yeah, and Eight of Cups, they're leaving something behind. Jupiter, I mean, Saturn and Pisces. So they're abandoning something that they weren't happy in or maybe parts of themselves. And this could be this could be aggravating people around them, family, a community of people or whatever. Six of Wands, Jupiter, and Leo. Okay? There could be a smear campaign against you, against what you, against what you do for work or who you are because this person is walking away from whatever and coming to you or that could have been how things started with you guys take it how it resonates somebody has to stop caring what people think and get out of their ego this person yeah they miss out on the opportunities because they care too much about validation or what or how they're perceived here they don't want to they don't want to come off weak so yeah but they got to get out of that or they're going to miss an opportunity with you they got to get out of their ego love and ego can't coexist together but you could be seeing two, 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 two of wands is Mars and Aries. And then we have two of pentacles and two of swords. And then you could, and then eight of cups, eight of swords and eight of pentacles. You could be seeing eight, eight, eight. So definitely something about like someone's finances and their power. So go check out Libra. Go check out Sagittarius. Go check out Scorpio, Taurus. Capricorn again. Yeah. Okay, but let's get the chakra messages here. Now, this person could be having a hard time with these changes. Yeah, lack of confidence. This person could look really attractive. They can get a lot of attention. And they're, that doesn't really look. Yeah, oof, hold on. Yep. Yeah. If their judgment was cloudy before, I feel like it's not. Or maybe you walking away will unclear that. And whether they whether that means they have to lose you or not, that may be a lesson for them to learn. So you could be this person's karma. Or, you know, their lesson. You can't let the past. I, I get it. You know, we all get hurt, and sometimes we don't want to love again. But if that's the case, stay to yourself. Don't make other people suffer. Ooh, child. Cancers. If I don't know if this is y'all with y'all chakras out of balance or which. Ooh. Or this. Mm, let's get it. Okay. Indecisive. Somebody here could be indecisive. That's what that moon in Libra is. Somebody has to take a chance, take a risk, and bet on themselves. Somebody needs to worry about their happiness. Okay, so let's do the chakra cards last. Because I'm going to read from the chakra guide. You got four of them. <laughs> what you doing, baby? Mommy's almost done. Thank you for being patient. Okay, so we got overreacting. Someone here could be going through some, they could be having, with that high priestess, emotional outburst, or this is somebody that's in their energy. They could be dealing with somebody that has like a mental, something could be coming out in court about someone that they have a child or kids with, or, or somebody needs to be honest about <coughs> their fears, their insecurities. Okay, maybe regards to love or you, or this is you that needs to do that, but ungrounded. Inability to give or receive freely. Lying and deceptive behavior. That could be what that seven of swords is. So something could be blocked for your highest good. Lack of confidence. Unresolved guilt. Unawakened and feeling lost. Clouded judgment. Lonely and misunderstood. This person could feel a bit lonely with the Hermit in reverse. This person could be isolating themselves a lot. Okay, so we got the root chakra. Oh. Safety, stability, survival, security, red jasper, ruby, hematite. The element is earth. Archangel Gabriel. It says, I am supported. I am supported, safe, and secure, and I have a right to be here. I'll repeat that again. I am supported, safe, and secure, and I have a right to be here. Sacral chakra, 
emotions, creativity, sexuality, and pleasure. Somebody could also battle stuff with their sexuality. They may like, they may go both ways, whether you know this or not. Uh, the stones are carnelian, sunstone, snowflake obsidian. The element is water. Archangel Zedekiel. It says, I am in touch with my feelings and I embrace my creativity and sexuality. It says, I am in touch with my feelings and I embrace my creativity and sexuality. Heart chakra, love, acceptance, compassion, growth, balance. The crystals are green avatrine, rose quartz, amazonite, rondochrosite. The element is air. It's Archangel Chamuel. It says, I accept, respect, and love myself, and I am worthy of receiving love. Again, I accept, respect, and love myself, and I am worthy of receiving love. Third eye chakra, intuition, vision, perception, lab the crystals are labradorite, fluorite, lapis lazuli, the element is light, Archangel Raphael. It says, I trust my intuition and I see beyond the illusion. Somebody needs to see beyond the fantasy <laughs> and look in, and be and get into reality. Okay, discernment is key. I trust my intuition and I see beyond illusions. I wasn't going to read from the guide because you guys got four cards, but uh, I'm not going to do y'all like that. So, somebody's name, first and last initials, could start with a C, a D. A F and an A, first, middle, or last. All right, so let's start with the root. All right, the first chakra is symbolized by a lotus with four petals and the color red. The chakra forms the foundation of the survival instinct. It is concerned with all the basic needs such as food, shelter, sleep, and self-preservation. It grounds to the earth and anchors life energy into the world as such. A balanced root chakra creates a solid foundation for the six chakras above. Anxiety, nightmares, and sudden fear are indicators of an unbalanced root chakra. Physical symptoms may include constipation, lower back pain, and prostate problems. Activities that promote a healthy root chakra include hiking, gardening, cooking, and everything that connects with nature. All right, location, base of the spine, the perineum, the pelvic, pelvic plexus, principle, physical identity, self-preservation, survival, and basic needs, immediate instinct, survival instinct, and will to live. Body parts, legs, bones, feet, rectum, colon, adrenal gland, and kidneys. Signs of imbalance, eating disorders, excessive negativity, delusions, balancing suggestions, physical activity, yoga, incense, meditation, walking, signs of disharmony, overemphasis on all things material. Somebody could be hyper material or money focused because really and truly, emotionally and mentally, they feel insecure. When people become hyper-focused on money and material things, they're overcompensating for something, a lack inside, emotionally. All right, so, and that's like a poverty and a lack mindset that bleeds over into everything else. So greed can be an issue of disharmony. This could be you, Cancer. Some of you guys have mother and father wounds for some of y'all. Uh, signs of harmony, uncomplicated connection to all things physical, associated crystals or red gemstones, especially ruby. The musical note is C. The animal is the elephant. The element is earth. The mantra is Lam. The aroma is Sedar. The deity is Ganesh. The metal is lead. And the sense is smell. So let's get the sacral. The second chakra is symbolized by a lotus flower with six petals and the color orange. Key issues involved are passion, pleasure, and enjoyment. It is the center of feelings and emotions. Physically, the chakra governs reproduction. Mentally, it governs creativity. Emotionally, it governs joy. And spiritually, it governs enthusiasm. This chakra is instrumental in developing flexibility in life as it regulates the flow of emotions and thoughts. A healthy Unblock sacral chakra is essential for personal expansion and healthy relationships and interactions with people and the world. In the unbalanced state, emotions take over to the point of becoming obsessions. Depression may set in. 
location above the pubic bone and below the navel, principal expression of desire, enthusiasm, and creative imagination, immediate instinct, emotions, creativity, sexuality, and passion, body parts, ovaries, testicles, kidneys, uterus, lymphatic system. Somebody could even be having fertility issues, issues with like your menstrual cycle, okay, for some of you, stuff with your kidneys, uterus, uh, signs of imbalance, tension, inner conflict, sexual problems, instability, balancing suggestion, taking care of emotions and intimate relationships. And even the intimate relationship with yourself. Don't forget that one. Signs of disharmony, inability to express emotions, harmony, signs of harmony, balance and easygoing and healthy relationships. The crystal is moonstone. The musical note is D. The planets, Mercury, the planets are Mercury and Moon. Somebody's, somebody's name can start with D, first and last initial. The element is water. The mantra is Vam. The aroma is Jasmine. The associated deity is Vishnu. The metal is tin and the sense is taste. Okay, let's get to the heart. And then we have the third eye and I'll let you guys go. Heart chakra, symbolized by a lotus flower with 12 petals and relating to the color green. The heart chakra supports the subtleties of love, compassion, generosity, kindness, caring, and respect for others. Being the central chakra, it has a balancing influence and forms a bridge to the upper and lower three. A balanced heart chakra allows easy communication and interchange with others. Goodwill and harmony effortlessly overcome selfish and egotistical attitudes. The beauty of life opens up and the world appears friendly and harmonious. An imbalanced heart chakra may express itself in physical illness, extreme jealousy, fear of intimacy, suspicion, and paranoid isolation. Location, center of the chest and heart area. Principle, love and care to self and others. Immediate instinct, love, compassion, forgiveness, and understanding. Body parts, the heart, blood circulation, lungs, breast, and lymphatic system. Signs of imbalance, anger, suspicion, breathing problems, congestion, balancing suggestions, forgiveness, practice kindness and acceptance and don't forget acceptance and kindness within yourself and forgiveness within yourself most importantly first and foremost if you can't forgive yourself if you can't be compassionate and understanding with yourself it's forget it you're not gonna have that for other people signs of disharmony suspicious attitude towards love and kindness signs of harmony warm feeling of love harmony and connection crystals Emerald, moss, agate, green avatrine, jade, and peridot. The musical note is F. The planet is Venus. The element is air. The mantra is Yam. The aroma is rose. The deity is Krishna. And the metal is copper. Sense is touch. Okay, last but not least for you guys is the third eye. This chakra is symbolized by a lotus with two petals and primarily corresponds Yay! to the color indigo. It is the center of inner perception and insight and helps to generate clarity of thought, spiritual contemplation, and sincere self-reflection. Somebody's intuition could be a bit blocked because they could be a bit in their ego. Oh, the moon and the sun. Okay, so some of you guys need to balance that yin and yang, that heart and mind. You may have to get that on one accord. Um, in this way, the innate inner knowledge is experienced and can be used to manage the outer world. The well-balanced third eye chakra provides intuitive wisdom and guidance, which can be trusted with confidence. An overactive sixth chakra can make an individual intolerant, judgmental, and unsympathetic. An underactive sixth chakra may result in the lack of empathy to others, reduce common sense, and difficulty in understanding all things spiritual. Hmm. Location, between the eyebrows, principle, perception, intuition, sixth sense, and inner knowledge. Hold on. Oh, my God, my new cards. Hold on. Come, Jane. I have a new deck of cards, Cancers. Um, let me read this real quick. 
Oh, Nova's excited. Hold on, Kansas. Um, look, y'all. So pretty. I done, I done ran these cars into the ground. Hold on, Kansas. My bad. <laughs> Nova's like, yes. Um, yes. Principal perception, intuition. Um, sixth sense, inner knowledge. Shh, baby, baby, baby. Immediate instinct is clairvoyance, tele telepath, telepathy, lucid dreaming, and visualization. Body parts, pituitary gland, eyes, ears, head, penile gland, and brain. Signs of imbalance, headaches, poor eyesight, excessive forgetfulness. Uh, balancing suggestion. Meditation, sitting in sunshine and bright light. Signs of disharmony, concentration, difficulties, confusion, and fear. Signs of harmony, clarity of mind, sixth sense knowledge. Associated crystals, blue sapphire, tourmaline, lapis lazuli. And blue quartz. Um, the musical note is A. The planets are moon and Saturn. The element is all elements in light. The mantra is Kisham. The aroma is lavender. The deity is Shiva. The associated metal is silver. And the sense is intuition and mind. Okay, Cancers. So this was your reading. <laughs> I can't wait to do a new reading. I got two new decks. <laughs> um, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.